Hi, Abe. Who's asking? Uh, I, I'm here for the Rebelug crib tour. The what? The the room tour for Rebelug. Rebelug. Hmm. Let me check my schedule. Build, build. Rebelug room tour. Okay. Hi, yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. Hi. Hey, come on in. Yeah, welcome. Welcome to my crib. Hi, I'm Abe. Some people might know me as Hyperlite Bricks. Here at Rebelug, we are doing room tours, and uh, this is my room tour. So let's let's get started. Follow me. Okay. So this is my room tour, my studio slash work from home office space. I live in a one bedroom apartment in Minneapolis, Minnesota with my girlfriend. But the thing about our apartment is it has two little sunrooms, which is super cool. So this is like one of our sunrooms, which I get to use kind of as my Lego studio, which is super awesome. So this is, this is kind of where I sit and build my mocks. I got these two tables from Ikea. They're super cheap um, and they're really nice. I organize by part and if I have a lot of that part then I organize it by color. A lot of the bins I use are these types of bins. You can order them off Amazon, especially these ones are really awesome. Amazon sells them. A lot of these I get at a place called Menards. It's just like a hardware store. I'm in Minnesota, so we have a Menards. I don't know if any other place in the world has a Menards, but there's also Home Depots and things like that. So that's where I get a lot of my bins. I like it to be at eye level. It's That's how I'm most efficient, and I'm all about efficiency with my organization. I think the less I'm looking for parts, the more I'm building and the more I'm creating something. Um, because when I'm constantly digging and looking for parts, I mean, that's so much time just wasted, and I don't like to waste time. So, like I just said, I like everything to be at eye level, at hand's reach. I, you know, obviously some things are down by my feet. Um, a lot of the parts that I don't use that often in my mocks, I'll kind of have packed away, because if I'm not using it, there's no reason for it to, like, be taking up space. This is a new thing I just got off Amazon. It's really awesome. It has a lot of my kind of filler brick I use in my mocks. Um, so a lot of my filler bricks right here. Filler brick right here. A lot of these parts are really awesome because they're so big. So just for like the back sides of my mocks, which don't matter how they look, these parts will come in handy. Here's where I keep my Technic pins and things like that. I have these really nicely organized. So these are some cute little robots I built. I like to just have them set up. They're really cute. These, I have some bags of parts. I used to have just tons of these bags that would just line my studio. Um, which, I mean, it was okay. I, I've definitely been working towards just getting more of these bins because I love to just have things sorted out like this. It's just, it's so much nicer. So I, have, I still have some bags of parts. I have all my stickers, sticker sheets in here. I kind of love sticker sheets. I love some of the designs the Lego group comes up with. Here are some of my favorite parts, just like, I don't know what they're called again, just kind of like paper parts, flags, sails. I think they're super interesting, super fun to use in mods. I've got some of my old gray colors. Uh, these are like colors that are retired. I love to use these types of pieces in like weathering on my mocks just to create different textures. Um, it's super fun. Here are my pickup brick cups. I have some masonry bricks. This was one of my recent pickups. It's like one by two bricks. Coral color, super cool color. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. One other thing about how I organize my parts is I like to like I like to have parts be next to parts that are similar to them. So, you know, here are all my 1x2 bricks, all the different colors that I have them organized by, but then I have, I want them by, like, 
the modified brick, modified bricks, or like the little corner bricks. Uh, I like these are all similar in my mind. Um, one by threes, which will kind of lead to more different modified bricks. Like these are all similar in my head, and that's so when I'm building, I know that all these parts are right next to each other. It it just works for me, you know. It's it, it's nice. Um, another example is like over here. Like I have all my sloped, different slope wedges or different slopes or wedges right here. It's just nice that way. It works for me. I have some of my plates here. Again, organize my organize by part first, and then by color if I have a lot of that part. Here are some of my favorite pieces. I love printed pieces, sticker pieces. All right, so if you follow me right here, we have kind of some, we have some door, door frames, some more frames, window frames, some glass pieces, some arches, some crates, chairs, got my dishes pieces, my big dish pieces. So I got. I have all my printed tiles right here. Again, I love printed tiles, stickered pieces. All right, so I've kind of talked about a lot of the stuff I have up here, and now I have all my parts down here to talk about. So right here, I have this bin. I think I got this from Target. It's. I guess I can start from the bottom. I have a bunch of. A bunch of parts down here I, I really don't use that often, which is why they're really they're way down here. Again, I kind of have a bunch of like, I'd never use these types of parts, these like wedge parts. I, I never use them, so I have them all right in here. Here are my windscreen, windscreen pieces. I love these, again, like some of my favorite pieces. I don't use them that much. I'm not a vehicle builder. I wish I was a really good vehicle builder. I'm, I, I'm not, um, but I still buy windscreen pieces every time I go on BrickLink. Uh, here are all my Bionicle big figure pieces. Um, Hero Factory, I don't know what you want to call it. I don't use them that much. Again, I wish I was a cool Bionicle builder. I'm not, but I'll still buy parts on BrickLink that I think are cool. What else we got? So, here is a bunch of parts I need to sort. This was a, sorry, this is a Tatooine mock I built. Um, I usually do a time lapse and then take it apart. And then I put all the pieces in, in a bin until I'm ready to sort it out. So these are bins. You can get these at hardware stores, things like that. So here I have a lot of my plates, like my one by, I don't know what you call them. Just some of my plates in here, more plates in here, a lot of my two by four plates, organized by color in here. Here are my two by four bricks or two by three bricks. I use these as filler bricks. I'm working on a massive mock, probably the bi biggest mock I've been working on right now. So these are mostly empty because my filler brick is running very low. I love figure parts. They're so fun to collect. I mean, I have so many different torsos in here. From like Harry Potter to Marvel. You know, I've got my big figs in here. It's maybe not the most useful way to spend my money on minifigure parts, but it's hard for me to pass up when I'm on BrickLink to buy minifigure parts. Here are all my leg pieces, or yeah, leg, pie leg pieces. These are more figure pieces. I have a lot of minifigure weapons. A lot of these are from Brick Arms. They're not real Lego, like Brick Arm vests. Here are all my... I kind of organize them by, you know, I've got the yellow heads, the classic Lego yellow heads. I've got different flesh tone pieces organized. 
I take apart almost all the minifigures I get besides my Star Wars ones. I keep like 80% of my Star Wars figures built. I don't have that many sets built. Um, I did get this though for my 24th, 24th birthday this year. This is from my mom. I'm a Hufflepuff. Uh, this was definitely really fun to build. Definitely a unique thing to build. I have never built something like that before. I have the Volkswagen bus sitting out right here on my old radiator. My friend gave me this. So that's fun. I have all my camera equipment kind of sitting out. I use a lot of camera equipment when like photograph or photographing my mocks, um, taking time lapses, things like that. I have the UCS Slave 1 up here. This is my all-time favorite Lego set. It's beautiful. I like having it way up here. It looks really menacing. It's awesome. What else do I have? I've got Baby Yoda. He's really cute. He's missing an eye right now because I'm using it in a robot thing over there. So he kind of looks like a cyborg. He's really cute. This is like the oldest Lego set I have, I believe. I could be wrong, but I don't keep any of my boxes, but this box is super cool. Super retro, super vintage looking. I love the box art on it, so I like to keep this one sitting out. This is really a cool one. And those are the only Lego sets I have displayed right now. Well, that's all I got for you. Thanks for watching. I'm really proud of my Lego collection and everything I've kind of been able to do with them. Don't be discouraged if your collection doesn't look like that. Mine didn't always used to look like that, and it takes a lot of work to get yours organized like that. Again, thanks for watching. Rebel Look has a lot of cool content coming up, like more crib stores. And uh, I'm going to have to ask you to leave. i got to go build something. Get out of here. <laughs>